Have you ever wondered how soap cleans your dishes or how shampoo removes dirt from your hair? The answer lies in fascinating molecules called surfactants. These tiny powerhouses are found in countless everyday products, from laundry detergents to cosmetics. Surfactants are the unsung heroes of the cleaning world. They work their magic at the microscopic level, where they manipulate the interactions between water and other substances. Without surfactants, many everyday tasks would be much more difficult. Imagine trying to wash your greasy dishes with water alone. The secret to their cleaning power lies in their unique structure and behavior. So, let's dive into the molecular world and uncover the secrets of these mini marvels. Surfactant molecules are intriguing because they possess a dual nature. One part of the molecule is attracted to water, or hydrophilic, while the other part is repelled by water but attracted to oils and fats, which we call hydrophobic. This unique characteristic is often described as having a head that loves water and a tail that prefers oils. This dual nature allows surfactants to interact with both water and oily substances, bridging the gap between them. When you add detergent to greasy water, the hydrophobic tails of the surfactant molecules are drawn to the grease, while their hydrophilic heads remain in contact with the water. This interaction helps break down the grease into smaller droplets that can be easily washed away. It's like having a tiny mediator that brings oil and water together. This unique ability of surfactants to interact with both polar and non-polar substances makes them essential for a wide range of applications from cleaning and personal care to industrial processes. As you add more and more surfactant molecules to water, something fascinating happens. At a certain concentration, the surfactant molecules begin to self-assemble into tiny spherical structures called micelles. This critical concentration is known as the Critical Micelle Concentration, or CMC. Imagine a crowded dance floor where people start forming groups as the music gets louder. Similarly, when the concentration of surfactant molecules reaches the CMC, they spontaneously aggregate to form micelles. In these micelles, the hydrophobic tails of the surfactant molecules point inwards, away from the water, while the hydrophilic heads face outwards, interacting with the water molecules. This micelle formation is crucial for the effectiveness of surfactants in various applications. The micelles act like tiny shuttles, trapping dirt, grease, and other impurities within their hydrophobic cores and carrying them away in the water. Section 4. The Power of CMC from Cleaning to Curing The CMC is a critical parameter that dictates the effectiveness of surfactants in numerous applications. Let's explore a few examples. Cleaning. In detergents and soaps, the CMC determines the optimal concentration needed for effective cleaning. Below the CMC there aren't enough micelles to effectively trap dirt and grease. Above the CMC the cleaning efficiency plateaus and adding more surfactant won't significantly improve cleaning power pharmaceuticals. In drug delivery systems, surfactants are used to encapsulate and deliver medications within the body. The CMC plays a vital role in controlling the size and stability of drug-loaded micelles, ensuring efficient drug delivery to target sites. Emulsification surfactants are excellent emulsifiers, meaning they can help mix immiscible liquids like oil and water. The CMC influences the stability and droplet size of emulsions, which is crucial in food processing cosmetics and other industries. Section 5. Measuring the CMC, Unmasking the Micellar Magic Scientists employ various techniques to determine the CMC of a surfactant. These methods rely on measuring the changes in the physical properties of surfactant solutions as the concentration increases. Here are some commonly used methods. Surface tension. As surfactant molecules accumulate at the air-water interface, they reduce the surface tension of water. By measuring the surface tension at different concentrations, scientists can identify the CMC as the point where the surface tension plateaus. Electrical conductivity. Ionic surfactants conduct electricity in solution. As micelles form, the conductivity of the solution changes. Measuring the conductivity at various concentrations helps pinpoint the CMC. Dye solubilization. Some dyes are insoluble in water but can be solubilized within the hydrophobic cores of micelles. By monitoring the change in dye solubility with increasing surfactant concentration, scientists can determine the CMC. Fluorescence. Certain fluorescent probes exhibit changes in their fluorescence intensity when they partition into the hydrophobic environment of micelles. By analyzing the fluorescence intensity at different concentrations, researchers can determine the CMC.